First, we researched microbes to understand more about them. Here is what we found out. Microbial life is the oldest and most basic on the planet. Millions can fit on a pinhead and hence can't be seen by the naked eye. Yeasts are generally the most common in schools and grow almost everywhere. Classrooms, science labs, water fountains and, and many other places. One cell can become two and because they re reproduce asexually, it, it only takes a single microbe to start an entire colony. But some viruses and other microbial life can kill people in days or even hours. We used a process called the aseptic technique. First we washed our hands thoroughly with soap, making sure to kill any bacteria. Next we soaked the cotton buds in an alcohol solution to kill all of the bacteria. Without touching any doors, we took the petri dish filled with agar jelly, which had been sterilised in an autoclave, to the chosen location where we swabbed a specific object. This is the T13 table. We swapped the cotton boards onto the agar jelly, which we taped up and which we taped up labelled and left for one week before checking the results. We repeated each area three times to make our results reliable. For the results in the first experiment, where we were finding the dirtiest areas of the school, we counted the colonies and identified the type of microbe. We identified the form, elevation and margin of the samples and recorded them in a table. This showed us the areas of the school with the most microbes. We began this method by checking with the UV light that there was no previous handprints left on the tables. Then we applied a small amount of this hand cream that shows up in UV light and then to my hands without rubbing it in too much. Otherwise it may not show up on another light. Then we continue the lesson as normal and applying the cream every 10 minutes. This is because it will dry out approximately 10 minutes. At the end of the lesson we check the area with the UV light then record the results in the classroom plan. Here is, Ms. is in Mr Stokes' room, where the spread of microbes was highly concentrated around where the person sat, showed in yellow. Then we had Mr Sanger's room, where the, sh where the spread of microbes was all over the classroom compared to where the person sat, which was here. This time we did the aseptic technique as demonstrated before, but we split the petri dish into quarters for the three different cleaners under control. We used our results from method one to choose six areas of the school with the most microbes. For each one we soaked a paper disc in either antibacterial spray, disinfectant or the school cleaner called Sprint 200 and a control which was water so we knew the disc wouldn't affect the microbes. This one is disinfectant. We then taped it up and labelled the petri dish from the area we got the sample from. After one week, we looked at our samples to find which was the most effective cleaner. We measured from the edge of the paper disc to the nearest microbe. For example, on this one, it's 12 millimetres. The closer the microbe was to the disc, the less effective the, microbe, the cleaner was. We averaged all the results from the five areas and the three samples. We found the disinfectant was the most effective with an average of 13.2 millimetres clear zone and an act antibacterial was a close second with an average of 12.1 millimetres. The least effective was the Sprint 200, the school cleaning product, with an average of 0.1 millimetre clear zone. Even our control was more effective with an average of 0.6 millimetres clear zone.